สวัสดีครับทุกคนครับยินดีต้อนรับเข้าพบกับ another coding session with Neil today we are going to cover how to build out this section using our Bootstrap grid system and we are going to have some CSS customizations into it so far จำเป็นต่อ uh, sorry จนถึงตอนนี้ครับเราสั่งทั้งหมด uh, navbar และ showcase section และทั้งหมดนี้กับ responsive เคชัยยังหน่อย CSS ครับและชัยส่วนเวลามากใช้ Bootstrap CSS uh, CSS structures so we played around with grid system today we're going to get more involved in the grid system so let's build out this okay เราจะสั่งทั้งหมดนี้ครับ so ครั้งที่แรกผมจะสั่ง div about offer ในครั้งใน div about offer มีข้างบนเหมือนกันจากครั้งที่แล้วครับเราดูว่ามีทั้งสอง images ครับ so about Offer background, and this will be the image, and this will be the top one. And I'm going to put in a class of width 100, and this will be images slash about top background dot png. Le je tam ik nung krang kap kang lang kap, and then I'm going to put in a background of background. Success. Now to hand do yung rai kap. So it looks like this, and that is because I have the same exact image here. So let's change it out to bottom. Perfect. Now we have this nice wavy line. Then mi pan hapa wami container tini kap. So we have our container still up here. We want to get rid of the container here and move this section into the container. There we go. Just tab me up, kang kang, le sign on. Clean that up a bit. There we go. And that should change up the width here to be the full width. Perfect. So now we have the full width. Now just say tang mo ni kang na container do I cup. So now we can start to add in our images. So div dot container le kang na container just say div image kong rao kap so div dot about offer image le kang nai ni image source is images slash i am a g dash one png all right and our arrow div dot about offer arrow le kang nai ni ni image images slash right dash a e r o w dot png Okay, le kang nai ni je div about offer text le h1 dot about offer title le kang nai ni oops got all up ke 599.00 star dot com le tini je kian wa text success just stick that in there and text dark background white just so we don't have to do anything in the future about offer subheading le subheading could i cup me cup le p dot about offer para le tini copy tongue mod ni we'll see it'll be save that do bap yung rai cup do about me cup. I made a mistake here. Images. Uh, what is it called? Oh, IMG. There we go. Now we have our image and we have all of these. Now here at the bottom, why did I type all text success and all that stuff? These are really nice. And you shortcut kung nai bootstrap classes kong rao kap tagar wa in background kong ni yakli in text color tagar wa ni text white my hen text kang lang tini cup I need text success text ke green color cup so I'm going to change this back to uh, actually we'll keep it white and background let's just change this to dark so we can change the backgrounds like this that looks kind of cool it matches what we have up here the color scheme is kind of nice but I'll change it back to the normal or I can do text info and we can have it be a nice blue color these are built-in colors into bootstrap text warning or i have text danger 
I can also change the background to background info. It'll have a nice bluish color. It doesn't look too great to me. And warning, same exact thing. Or I can change it to info, which is a nice gray color. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Um, I think the same, no, sorry, I can't remember what the other colors are. Uh, but we'll change this one to background white for now. And change this to text dark. There we go. Let Tini meet text success call 599. All right. So, pan hat to ni kap mi sam to wak tini mi image mi arrow da ko mi text tini tang sam tang kangan tang kangan yang rai kap. So, we're going to change all this to make sure they're all in the same line. And how are we going to do that? We're going to use the grid system. So, tini mi container le kang lang container mi row. Row ke rai kap row pen ning sai kap tang kangan kap. Ni sam sing ti kang kang ngan ka chai yang rai ka. We have to put everything into a row. Loko chai column width kang nai div kong rao ka. So that's why I put all of these into their own divs. So we can just add columns. How do we know the width of the columns? Down here, we have to play around with this. But if I just use col regular, then it'll be for extremely small screens, column small. It'll only display on 576 or above. Column medium, column large, and column XL will all display among their respective sizes. So what I want to do is use column large because I want this to disappear. So I'll show you what happens. Call, let's say, four. Oh, before I do that, I want to push this all into a row. So div row. Le. And let's give it some more space here. So it needs a bit crunched up. And there we go. So now we have our three elements. We have one, two, and three. Perfect. So call four, call four, and we'll do column four. All right. So now what do we see? Oh, image tini yagan pai kap. Well, this is really big. And image tini yagan pai duai kap. The only thing that really took up the fourth, a third of the page is this text here. Tamai, pawa images pen lambak ma kap, pen samkan or pen ramkan ma duai kap. They're so annoying. But I can do a width of 100 inside of here. Width 100. And that will then make that image much smaller. Here I can do the same thing, a class of width 100. That literally changes it to 100% of the width. So this will be 1 fourth, this is 1 fourth, and this is 1 fourth. So all three of these, they might not look it, but they are equal width right now. And also what I'm going to do is I can do a justify content center. Center everything in here. Doesn't look like it, but everything is automatically centered anyway, but just to make sure. Now what I want to do is change that image size, and we're getting closer. So I want to have it come inside a lot more. So how do I do that? Well, first, I want to change the size of the image. And I'm going to put this down to, let's say, a 50. And so that makes it much smaller. But instead of doing it here, I can do it in my CSS. That way, it's all in one place. So what I'm going to do is also change up the column sizes. So here's column five, here's column five, or column two, and here's column five. Now we're looking much better. These two are almost the same size. Let's also stick in some padding at the top and the bottom. So, whoops, P4, there we go. And now we've got these images and these two almost the same size. All we've got to do is move this over a little bit. How do we move this over a little bit? chai style CSS. So about offer arrow. We can do a margin left. And let's try 100 pixels. And that goes way over to the left. And that is not what we want. If we want to bring it over. There we go. So now we have margin left and maybe a margin uh, left of 150 maybe. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, not bad. And we want to do a margin top of, let's say, 100 pixels. 
See how that comes. Okay, that looks much better. Maybe we want to do 120 here to make it look almost exact. There we go. Oops, wrong one. Uh, 120. Ah, wrong way. Uh, do 80. There we go. Now it's a little bit higher. It's closer to the center of the image. There we go. And that's it. So now what happens? We still have that arrow, but I don't want that arrow. But what arrow ni So I want to get rid of that arrow. So all I want to do is say in here, I want to do only on LG sizes. And once I do that, I have to do a display none and a display LG block. There we go. The image then, the arrow goes away. Done. That's it. And so now I have my columns showing up, but I want to have these also flip over. So when I have these on a large screen, I only want to show these on a large screen. And then I want to flip them over when they have a smaller screen. So if I am on a 1024, cool, no problem. If I'm bigger than a 1024, whoops, I messed up there. There we go. Now I have my arrow in here on size bigger. And when I flip to an iPad or a 768, it flips the image and everything. So much nicer and cleaner. All right, now we can begin to clean this up. So what are we going to do here? All I really have to do is dot about offer image. And I can just say uh, image width is, actually, let's see why uh, I have the images not being the same exact. It's 672 pixels wide, but I want to have the image width once it's smaller. I want to change that and force it to be smaller so I can add in a uh, specific media query, max width of 992 pixels. And I'm getting 992 teeny cup so I'm using that value up there so max width about offer image and I want to have this be a width of let's just say uh, 500 pixels and that changes the size of that image and I can do the same exact thing for the dot about offer text of width of 500 pixels there we go all right and I can do a padding of zero. And now both of these are the same exact. And I can just do, add in a margin top here real quick. And that'll make it, give it some space, margin top of 30 pixels. There we go. So now these two look very, very similar. If I zoom in, there we go. So now it looks very similar. If I take a look at the developer tools here, now we've got this on a 768 by 1024. We are looking very, whoops, did not want to do that. There we go. Now we look very similar to what they have in, uh, whoops, shouldn't have closed that. There we go. We're back. So now we look very, very similar to what they have here on the original page. We have our styling. We're looking pretty good. We've got our image just above our text. And And all we did was add very, very little. All we did was change up some margin, added some width in the media query, and that was it. The columns, making it large, so on large sizes, Tagarwa kanat large, tagarwa kanat ni, yaigwa nungroi gao sip song pixel, pomiak plin, pomiak sedangwa, ke ha suan jak sip song suan, pomiak chai song suan jak sip song suan, pomiak chai ha suan. Te tagarwa lekwa large, to plin by tung kang bon kang lang kap. So I wanted to flip it to where if it's smaller than 992 it automatically flips. So only on 992, only on screen sizes, 992, take this up. So 
This is only on screen sizes 992 pixels or larger. And that's it. This is hide on screens smaller than 992 pixels. There we go. And that's it. We added some media queries just to make the images stay in the same width, remove some of the padding off of the images, and that's it. So feel free to give us a comment in the Facebook pages or in the YouTube pages. Um, feel free to tell us what you want to learn. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know in the comments and I will try to correct what we're talking about here and doing here. Oh, there's also one small problem up here. Um, sometimes, not always, there might be a line height. So about offer BG, we can fix that real quick, line height of zero, and that'll eliminate that little uh, line coming up there on top. So let me make sure, whoops, got image. That is still not going away, weird. Oh, it doesn't show up on the iPad one. Weird. My, ah, I don't know. I'll address it later. If that's still showing up, I will take care of it in a future lesson. So for now, though, it looks like it's okay. So, Tagarwa Mikam Tam, Tam Dai Kang Nai, Facebook, or YouTube, Tagarwa Yakri and Red Mai. Just feel free to ask and we'll try and get to that lesson. So for now, we will see you guys next time. Thank you for your support and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.